Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn more interesting things about shell programming. So today's topic is about the variables which are used during the shell programming. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create a variable, how to unset variable, how to make read-only variable. Also, we are going to see what are the different types of variables available during the shell programming so let's start today's session variable names so there is a convention so we know that the variable is a simple uh, term which is very common across the all the technologies variables normally declare to store the temporary information or it can be stored for a longer time as as well a variable can contain only letters which ranges from small a to small z or capital A to capital Z. It can also contain numbers from 0 to 9 or the special character underscore. Here are the sample variable names test var, test1, var1, two var underscore var. So these are the valid combination for the variable names. No other special character will be used for this creating variables. It is good idea or good practice to create the variable names in uppercase. It is not mandatory re requirement but it is, it is like standard programming thing. Of course we can create the variables in the lower case. How to create variable? Of course we have to define our shell script then the define the variable name and equal to sign and the actual value. For example here the country will be the variable name and the India will be the actual value will be store in that variable variable of this type is called as a scalar variables a scalar variable can hold only one value at a time shell enable us to store any value like integer or double or float etc or even where can so let's see that example in previous session we already created one sample file test.sh we will see that so this is a very simple file which, which we had declared hash and exclamatory mark with forward slash bin and sh and we have echo we did echo for various attributes so let's insert few more commands here here i'll mention declare variable I will comment out some of the thing if suppose uh, you don't want to use any execution just comment those execution and I will just update this programming also we are good here now to declare variable we have to create a variable how to create variable just type any name country that will be variable name equal to sign and you can code the value in double quote such as India or you can give any value and then we have to do echo echo country so that is what it is mentioned so this is the example and if you want the uh, if you want to echo you have to append the dollar sign before the the variable name so here is a prefix with the dollar sign so that is kind of requirement we have to use dollar sign before the word and you can see the color also got changed let's save this file using wq command it should be in small case and execute it so you can see i can see the actual value instead of variable so this is a very simple way to create a variable even you can create a variable with integer value for example i'll create one more variable i'll create population equal to 1.3 billion i will not mention the major 
measurement just to the echo and we'll see whether integer value also get assigned or double value also get assigned or not let's save this file and execute it so I can see the number also get saved so it's very simple it's store the variables numbers etc the next thing we are going to see about the variable is read only variables most of the times we don't want the program should override the, the value of a variable so in that case we have to make the variable read only to mark variables as a read only by using the read only command so it's a very simple the value of read only variable cannot be changed for example we, if you declare the variable var equal to techno guru and if you mark read only var and if you try to change the value we'll see what will happen so in order to demonstrate that i'll create few more variable i will mark population as a read only variable read only population and let's try to update the population with a different value suppose 1.5 and let's see what will happen any guess what do you think what will happen error it will give error or it will print the old value or it will override the value so you can see it is going to give a error it says it printed the previous execution but it says at the line 19 the population read only variable and we are trying to override the value so that means it will not allow us to override the value so just and if you now just remove that read only part by commenting it and let's see what will happen now so now we can see the latest value which we assign will be available to that variable so the value get overridden if if you do not make it as a read only how to unset variable unsetting or deleting a variable direct the shell to remove the variable from the list of variable that it tracks once we unset a variable we cannot access the stored value in that variable we cannot use the unset command to unset variable that are marked read only so we can unset the variables which are not read only so if you want to try that so it's very simple we can just we have to just unset variable and we'll do the echo we clear it So let me unset this and we'll echo we'll see what will happen. Unset population and WQ that is it will save the file. So here example var technoguru unset var and then we have to echo it. So th that is very straightforward and this variable var should not be read only that is true in our case the population is not read only and we are going to unset in and we'll echo it and we'll see what will happen with that variable so you can see that value is not getting printed because the value is unset so we are not value in that variable anymore types of variable basically there are three types of variable local variables environment variables and shell variables local variable present within the current instance of shell it is not available to program that are started by shell they are set at the command prompt so what are we said those are local variables environment variables available to any child process of the shell shell variables a shell variable is a special variable that is set by the shell and is required by the shell in order to function correctly these variables this these are environment variables and local variables 
so these are the different types of variables available in shell i hope this tutorial is going to give you some idea how to create variable how to create read only variable how to unset the value so that means we are clearing the value from that variable and also it will give us idea how to echo those variable using the echo command i um, if you like this video do not forget to subscribe my channel and thank you again for watching my video have a nice time